Hey beauties and welcome back to I Am Beautiful Hustle TV. If you are new to my channel, just go ahead and click that subscribe button and turn on your bells. So today guys, we are back with another Slay Series 2 video. And today's has been provided by Sealy Hair. I have the unboxing attached down below in your bottom left corner of the screen. And inside my packaging, I got a few goodies. But most importantly, they sent me um, over this 24 inch, 200% density, um, curly wig okay so like i mentioned you guys um the unboxing is down below but we're gonna jump straight into this video today okay y'all so like i mentioned this is a uh, deep wave wig 24 inches and 200 percent density so the final look of this video of this style is going to be very pretty and very full so for today i will be using my cousin genesis as our youtube model and just jumping straight into the video i went ahead and applied um the level 14 palette of that lighter shade um to match her foundation color best and i applied that foundation all in the inside of the lace and on top of that lace okay and this is a hd lace wig y'all know i love me some hd child you know it gets the job done period so um like i mentioned i went ahead and placed that wig on her head and i already added the foundation underneath the lace and on top and before i even start to glue down a wig i'm just gonna go ahead and cut all the extra lace off the sides so when i do lay the wig down it fits exactly how it needs to fit nice and snug okay and once i'm done cutting off that extra lace i will go in with four layers of my adhesive and then begin to tack down the wig So total on this install, I did four layers. So I did the first two layers in front of the cap right there on the skin. And then I went ahead and took the last two layers and brought it one inch wide, um, half on the skin again, and of course half on the cap. So I will show you guys, um, I believe like that third layer so you guys can see how much, but I think the fourth layer I did do off camera. But nevertheless, you do wanna apply all your layers and just spread that out nice and flat. And once the, uh, the glue turns clear, you can go ahead and tack it down. So now that it's time to tack down the lace, I want to start from the center first. Once I get it placed in the center, I like to work, uh, work my way from one side to the other side. And once I have it into place, it just have them hold it um, down so you can, uh, you know, tack down the other side. And then to aid with the melting process, we will blow dry the lace in on a heat setting and also going with the hot comb and hot comb that in before placing down the melt belt.
So now that I've uh, melted down the lace and I'm trying to melt better off camera, I did go ahead and sew down the back of her wig. Um, I usually don't sew the wigs on camera, but if you guys would like to see it, just let me know. I probably have a few videos where I actually sew down the back. But nevertheless, um, as I was sewing down that back, the melt belt was sitting. So now it's time to remove that band and we're going to go into cutting off that extra lace. And y'all going to see the scalp that is already given before we even melt this thing down all the way. So yeah, just keep watching. So I'm razoring off, well I raise it off one side and I'm just going in and razoring off the other side. And once I'm done with that, I am going to start like the styling process. Um, before I do um, my second step tying down with the whole, um, you know, holding spray method and the um, melt belt again, I like to kind of pre-style my hair before doing all of that. And as you've seen from the thumbnail, you guys, this is going to be a zigzag part down the middle with two braids and some nice pretty baby hairs okay so um once this lace is all done i'm gonna go ahead and start parting her hair in the zigzag motion and um just clean up the sections clean up all the parting pull down a section for the baby hairs and you know hot comb and smooth everything into place that way when i do spray that hairline down and remove that melt belt everything is already in place melted and ready to go for me to just create the baby hairs and do the braids Also, um, the key to getting a nice zigzag part um, is best if you part it as you go along and just try to add like some of the wax stick on there. That way when you hot comb it down, you can really see your part. And then, you know, later on in the video, I will conceal it. I did kind of over bleach them knots a little bit, y'all. But don't worry, y'all know I'm going to do my little quick fix and we're going to be good to go. But if you did have time, if you do have time to actually permanently correct it, you would just have to go in with some permanent dye and just brush it onto those roots and let it sit for a few minutes. The best advice I can give you is just to get the, um, the dye in a box that's called Just Five because it literally dyes the hair in five minutes. And you can use like a dark brown or if the hair is jet black, then you will use the jet black um, you know, dye box and just brush it. And you could just use a little edge brush or like a little um, eyelash spoolie brush and just brush that permanent dye right onto um, those over bleach knots. That way you don't have to worry about re-bleaching knots and all of that. You can just brush it wherever you have in the over bleach, you know, over bleachness. But this was totally my fault. We forgot that we was even bleaching a wig. Like we was preparing to get our makeup done and everything like that. So it totally slipped my mind. But like I said, it's nothing to do a quick fix or a permanent fix. But um, nevertheless, now that I have my zigzag part going, I'm going to work on the next section. And I want to go ahead and do half. You know, y'all know when I do my videos, I do one side at a time. So I'm doing this first half of the head, just making sure I part off the hair to cover the tracks in the back. We're going to add that wax stick. And of course, we're going to go in with that hot comb to make it nice, sleek, and flat. And then once I'm done uh, melting down that, not melting down that section, but smoothing out that section, I will make another part on the side for the rest of the hair that's gonna be down because I'm not braiding the whole front. I'm leaving like hair out on the sides as well to go behind the ear. That is not gonna be included in the braid, which you guys probably like, huh, what you talking about? But y'all gonna see it right here because now I'm gonna go ahead and take my comb and make that next section side part. And I'm going to hot comb this area down and make sure it goes behind the ear. And then the rest of it that I have lifted up, that will be for our braid.
So now that I have that section down, the next step is to go in with the hot comb and just hot comb out the roots to the area that I'm going to be braiding because you want to make sure that the root of your braid is nice, flat, and smooth. So I'm just hot combing it out just to prep it. I'm also hot combing that part so you can start to see uh, the zigzag part more clearly. Just clean up the part if I need to, which clearly I needed to right here. And then I'm going to repeat these same exact steps to the other side. And now that that style prepping is complete, it's time to um, just move the rest of the hair out the way. Then we're going to go in with some holding spray, spray down that hairline, and tie it down with the male belt once again and let it sit for about five minutes. Or just let it sit until the holding spray is completely dry. And I'm, I am using the olive oil um, wig something, something like wig grip holding spray, okay? So I'm just going to do that, smooth everything going down like I like to do. So when I remove that melt belt, everything is still smooth. And then I'm going to tie it down with that melt belt again, let that completely dry. And then once that uh, melt belt is removed, I'm going to do one whole complete side on camera. The other side I will do off camera because it's just repetition. So once I remove that melt belt, I will go ahead and style the baby hair first on the right side of her head and then do the braid. And then I will do that left side off camera. So in detail, I'm gonna show you how I did the baby hair, how I uh, you know, cut it, curled it, and swooped it. And for the baby hairs today, I will be using my glueless and baby hair gel. I have not used my gel in a little minute because I've been doing like the holding spray baby hairs, but I ain't gonna lie, I'm just I just love my gel, so I'm getting back into the whole uh gel baby hair look. And if you want softer baby hairs, you just let me know at your appointment. But till then, these baby hairs is gonna be laid in place, okay? And that's on period.
and when it comes to my baby hair method all i do is cut curl and swoop cut curl and swoop and i already had in mind what kind of baby hairs i was going to do so all i had to do was just do it so sideburn curl you know exotic swoop in the middle and then i'm going to do a regular swoop a regular swoop right there at the front and then just curl the end of it to do like a little, you know, look, you know, the little swirls y'all be seeing people do these days. So that's the baby hair look I was going for today. Killed it, y'all already know. And then, like I said, once I finish with that baby hair, I will go ahead and do the braid and, you know, slick it up real nice and neat and then do that other side off camera. And just to secure the baby hair after using the gel, I just like to go in with that blow dryer and just blow dry everything so it is completely dry, okay? And nothing you can do after you finish doing your baby hairs, you can tie the baby hairs down once again because I've done that sometimes in my YouTube videos. I just haven't done it today, but I just, you know, blow dry it real good and try to make sure it is dry because with the gel, it takes a little longer to dry, but it also styles your baby hairs faster than doing the mousse method or using the holding spray alone. But now I'm gonna go ahead and comb uh, the hair out and go ahead and do my braid. And I'm just gonna spray a little of that uh, even holding spray on it so it grabs all of those hairs and catches all flyaways. Brush that in, smooth that in, and then start from the middle of the braid, like the front center where the part is, and then just go ahead and braid that thing on down, all the way down, um, because I do want the braids to hang.
And now that that braid is complete, I'm just going to go ahead and hot comb and smooth all that in. Then I'm going to take some holding spray, spray that braid, and sleek it down some more just to catch, like I said, any flyaways. Or if my I don't feel like my braid is neat enough, I just go in with some spray and just, you know, spritz that thing on up and make it even flatter like how I want it to be. And then we're complete. And then I will do that other side off camera. And then once I do that other side, all I will have to do then is just like black spray and clean up the part because clearly, yeah, like I said, I over bleached these knots. But as you can see, period is given. We popping our S-H-I-T. Yeah, because we knew this whole style was given. The look was given. Shout out to my MUA per usual sensational faces on Instagram. She always get me right and she always get my models right. So that's that. But now we're going to go in with the high beans uh, black spray and just spray everywhere around where a parting is and clean that parting up. And then I'm going to go in with some concealer and clean up the parting once again just to make it more defined in the middle. Now that we went ahead and cleaned that part up, left to do is give this thing some shine, honey. So we're going in with our Cream of Nature's um, oil sheen spray to give the hair a nice shine. As y'all can see, the parts is clean, period. And this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. This style is bombing. We is not playing with the Slay 2 series. So make sure y'all subscribe, turn on y'all notifications because we got more videos on the way. See y'all soon.